Okay, now let's look at multiplying and dividing. Now, multiplying is actually a lot easier than we're multiplying fractions. Let's think about it. We've got a quarter. So let's see what a half times a quarter would be. Now we remember this times actually means of. When we're doing it with normal numbers, if I do 5 times 4, it's 5 lots of 4, which equals 20. Which fraction is just half of a quarter. So I've got a quarter here. Cut my thing into quarters. I want half of one. Okay, how much is that going to be? Well, let's cut the rest into half as well. So how many pieces have I got? Half of one quarter is one eighth. All you do is times all the numbers together this time. So it really is straightforward. Let's look at a couple of examples. Let's look at two fifths times by three sixths. So again, we just times all the numbers together. Two times three, six. Five times six, 30. So that's our answer. Six over 30. So that's straightforward. Does that cancel down? Now, can we make that any simpler? Does, how many times does six go into 30? Well, is there any numbers that will go into both 6 and 30? Yes, there is. 6 will go into 6, and 6 will go into 30. So we can simplify. 6 will go into 6 once, 6 will go into 30, 5 times. So 3 sixths times 2 fifths gives us 1 fifth. It's that straightforward. Now, dividing, slightly different again. <coughs> Um, if, we want to divide, if we want to divide, we basically do the same as we do for timesing, except we flip one of the fractions over. So if I want a half divided by a quarter, okay, what I just do is I flip one of them over. So I say a half times four over one. And I just times them the same way I normally times them. Times the top numbers together, times the bottom numbers together. So that just equals 4 over 2, which we can see that this basically says 4 divided by 2, so that just equals 2. What you're basically essentially saying here is how many quarters fit inside a half. And if you remember from our picture before, a half, two quarters will fit inside it. So let's do that with a slightly more complicated example. Okay, let's do 4 over 7 divided by 2 over 3. Okay, so we flip one of them. So we do 4 over 7 times 3 over 2. So we need 4 times 3, which is 12. 7 times 2, which is 14. So we get 12 over 14. Will that simplify? It certainly will. What will go into both of these? Well, we can see 2 will go into both of these. 2 will go into 12 6 times. 2 will go into 14 7 times. So 12 14 equals 6 7 -ths. And that's fractions. They're that straightforward. There's lots of questions in the book. For you to practice, you need to go through them, do your adding, do your taking away, do your timesing, do your dividing, and uh, have fun with those, and I'll see you for the next lesson.